Hello, I had the request for the robot dog for the code, how to operate it and uh, control it with the mobile app. And I made this in make code. I made the code to connect to the lo-fi control app for the micro bit. Uh, it sets the servos in the start initial start position, connects to the Bluetooth and starts receiving the comments from the control app. Uh, and when it receives a certain direction, it starts the sequence of the servos movement so the dog can, can walk. And, and the code works okay, but there is a problem. It works with the microbit version 2. If I upload this code to the microbit version 1 and run it, it runs okay. It connects to the app okay. I connect. Okay, you see that it, it is connected right now. But as soon as I will turn any direction, for example, up, you see that the micro bits gets the error. Whenever you see this sad face and some number on the micro bit board, it's an error, most usually due to the lack of memory. And the problem is that the Bluetooth library uses most of the micro bit memory. It has, the version one has something like 16 kilobytes of memory, very, very little. And the Bluetooth uh, protocol uses 14 kilobytes of it. So there is only two kilobytes left for the, uh, for the robot code to run. And usually it's possible to make the code very simple and uh, make it work like with the simple rover to control it with a Bluetooth connection. But it is really inconvenient because you never know when your code will stop working. For example, in this example, uh, removing the pause uh, blocks would make the code still work. Uh, for some reason, adding the pause and waiting and making the micro bit wait, which is essential to, for the movement of this robot dog, makes the code crash on version one. So, sorry, no Bluetooth control for the robot dog on the micro bit version one, only version two, but we can change it. We can use the radio function of the micro bit for wireless control. The only drawback of the situation is that we will need another micro bit to operate the, the robot dog. So, uh, to do this, I could, I could swap the code uh, manually, but I wanted to show you one thing. I would like to show you how to work with ChatGPT or any other chatbot to generate code for microbit in MakeCode. And it is a bit surprising because you might say that uh, ChatGPT cannot g generate uh, visual blocks for the microbit code. But in MakeCode you can fluently switch between visual and text representation of the microbit code. And uh, if we change it to the JavaScript and change uh, something right here, then it will apply to the blocks as well. So I can take uh, this text code, uh, paste it in ChatGPT, work with it, and then paste it here again in the make code and it can convert it to blocks. And also to show you that uh, Chatbot is really an amazing tool for, for programming, I will give it quite a complex task I have this uh, code to control my robot via Bluetooth app and I want to convert it to work with the radio communication in the microbit system. So it, it is not something straightforward. It requires quite an in-depth modification in the code, but let's see how he will uh, make it. So this is my prompt. I have a microbit robot that is controlled by Bluetooth app. It moves in four directions convert this code and make the robot remotely controlled via microbit radio, make it move left when button A pressed, right on B press and up on A plus B press. So you see that I uh, change the communication from Bluetooth to the radio and then I also change the control pattern. Instead of controlling the robot with the mobile app buttons, I control it with the buttons from the microbit, the A and B buttons. And since uh, there, is, there are only two buttons and, they, and I have three combinations available, I only asked him to generate uh, three movements up, left and right. I leave it up to you to come up with something for the back movement. And this is my prompt. And now let's give him the microbit code. 
from the make code I switch to the JavaScript, I copy all this, paste it here in the chatbot and let's see what he will come up with. So here is the modified code for controlling the microbit robot via microbit radial. This code will make the robot move, move left when the button A is pressed, right, right when the button B is pressed and up when the button A plus B are pressed. So he gives me two parts of code. One is for the controller uh, board and the one is for the receiver. So it means the, the robot. And let's start with the robot one. Let's copy it, paste in the make code. Let's make a new project. Robot dog radio control. I switch to JavaScript again and paste this code here. And as you can see, when I switch back to the blocks, I have the code in, in blocks already. And as for my sense, it seems quite quite logical. On start, it sets the servos to its initial positions and it sets the radio group and all of the blocks that I had in the previous uh, code with the servo movement sequence are here in the on radio received received string and then it has its these conditions for up, down, left and right and stop. And now let's see the receiver part. And uh, one pro tip from me here is that in most situations, when we do uh, some kind of a radio control for the microbit robots, we can upload the same code to the receiver and the transmitter, because the transmitter, when sending the code, won't execute it on its own. Uh, only the receiver will. So I can take this transmitter code and paste it as well in the same script at the end. And as you can see, it will add these functions on button A pressed, send radio, send left, on button B pressed, radio, send right, on button A plus B pressed, radio, send up. So the three movements that I asked him for. Everything seems quite okay. In one shot, only one, only one prompt, one question, one answer. Uh, let's upload it and see if it will work. So as you can see, the code actually worked in the first try. Uh, it usually doesn't happen so softly. Uh, it takes more steps to uh, wrap things up. But using chatbot in your coding practice, especially if you are a beginner, is really uh, something amazing.